Hey everyone, welcome back to another full self-driving videos in New York and I have a hardware to tweak car and I'm very excited to tell you that version 12.6 is now coming to Model 3 and Model Y and I got this information from Twitter or X that Harder 3 car will have audio detection. That means when an emergency vehicle pass, the car can hear it and take action through that. Even AI4 vehicle currently doesn't have this feature. Uh, hopefully we're gonna get that in our car in about just two or three days because they're testing it right now. And I'm very excited about it because I have a Model Y currently and I can't wait to show you guys how FSD 12.6 performs on my car in New York and we're gonna test those narrow roads where the car gets stuck and I heard so many good things about 12.6 that the, this is very confident this is a kind of version 13 where that AI 4 has that uh, version 13 and we don't have it but 12.6 I can't wait to show you guys and let's talk about it more and enjoy the video guys right now we need to change the lane and move to the left side because we're gonna merge in that upcoming stop sign in front of us so now the car is doing it it is changing the lane right now very good job there no hesitation very good I really like it also I changed my outside camera angle so let me know how you feel about that do you like my previous angle or do you feel more confident and you can see more with this camera angle so let me know in the comment so we should change another lane right now the car is going very fast and now you saw that hesitation it immediately changed the lane brakes very hard <sighs> really don't know why it knows we have to merge from there so the car was deciding at the very last moment which i really don't like because you shouldn't change the lane at the very last moment where you have time there is no vehicle on your left side you could just do it out like at the very first moment right guys so we're gonna go now and there are traffic from the opposite side so probably we have to wait for a moment and then we're gonna proceed and then we are gonna do that narrow road testing in that exact narrow road where i always test so let's do it guys but before that we're gonna see how the car proceeds so there is no vehicle right now the car is stuck still now there is no vehicle from the opposite side so um okay i'm gonna press that acceleration to tell the car go so i pressed that acceleration other than that it was a stuck there so really really don't know why the car got stuck there but you know like let me know in the comment why you think like the car was stuck it was stuck for for there like for a long time because there was no vehicle from that opposite side traffic so let's do that unprotected left turn guys let's do it so narrow road testing number one and the car avoided that part car perfectly i was thinking like the probably the car couldn't do that but the car did it perfectly now we're making this left turn less hesitation definitely and he did it wow like i definitely feel like very less like um very less a steering wheel neck this time but normally the car always do like left right left right and then able to do it but this time it feels like like version 13 how version 13 handled yesterday with cyber truck without any hesitation in this exact road and make that left turn it feels like that like is very confident it just makes that left turn the it rotates the steering wheel all the way left and very confidently makes that um, narrow road left turn so we're gonna do one more time let's do it guys so narrow road test number two in New York. Normally in this exact road, the car gets stuck most of the time. But this time we're gonna see how confident the car is. And you can see that this time the car is, you see this time it got stuck because it took little more space while making that left turn on the right side. And now it is proceeding slowly. I think if we ro rotate this, wow. It is trying. If you see that, like I'm not pressing anything. Trust me on that. I'm not pressing. And it is going. I'm not pressing anything, guys. It saw that. Wow. Amazing. It did that. Like the first place, definitely the car got stuck there. But immediately it fixed itself. Oh, like I didn't press anything. Very good job there. Like I definitely have to give a point for that because in previous time, 
when I was doing this turn, the car gets stuck and it cannot do anything. Either I take over and then do the turn by myself. But this time, if you saw that video, the car did it by itself. Very good job. Like I definitely feel like the car is more confident over the night. Very good. If you just go, my last video, my last video is with the Cybertruck, but the previous video, uh, like uh, before the Cybertruck video, you'll see that exact turn the car gets stuck but this time amazing job and now this is a brand new road i'm talking about the gps is saying something else if you're uh, like uh, uh, following the gps but the car is making its way out from this brand new road very good job there too but now this is a brand new stop sign we stop there we have to definitely stop for you see there is a truck coming so i took over there is a truck coming so i don't want to allow the car to do something like very stupid there is a vehicle coming from our left side and if there is a vehicle coming we cannot proceed we have to stay there if there is no vehicle we can proceed right very simple task but the car failed i really don't know why there is cameras on our left side definitely in the car but why can't the car see that there's a very big truck coming <sighs> these are the things makes me very frustrated with hardware 3 vehicle because exact same road i tried with ai4 vehicle and the car can't do it without any hesitation any problem at all but with ai3 the car can do it guys can't like this kind of silly mistake shouldn't be happen right now because when there is a car coming from your left side and it's not safe you shouldn't proceed very simple task but why would you proceed there when there is a like vehicle right guys so uh let's do that unprotected left turn this is also a tricky unprotected left turn so let's do it guys so unprotected left number one in new york and it will be a tricky unprotected left first of all the sun is hitting directly in the camera so probably harder three vehicle will have some hard time seeing the road and everything so we're gonna find out that you see immediately it pops up so i'm gonna take over but you don't <sighs> that's the thing i really don't know how tesla ai team will fix this kind of issues like when the sun is directly hitting the cameras and you can't just see anything and that's the thing i was talking so now we should stop here and creep and look on our left side if there is no vehicle we go straight make a right turn and immediately make a u-turn like this like oh no it was trying to do the thing that I was talking, but it immediately made that right turn and now making a U-turn from here. There is no vehicle from our uh, behind and that's why I allowed the car to do it, but the U-turn was perfect, fast, no problem. So I will give this like half point. It could just easily do that unprotected left turn or U-turn from the first block, but it missed that first block, went to the second one and make that U-turn. So let's do it one more time, guys. Let's see how the car handles that unprotected left turn again. Let's do it. So now we are proceeding and doing unprotected left number two in New York. And again, the sun is directly hitting in the cameras. So we're gonna see how the car handles. Again, the same thing happens and it just gets blinded. So I'm gonna take over. I really don't know guys how Tesla AI team will fix these issues. Please let me know in the comment what do you think? Like how Tesla can fix these issues where the car completely gets blind because of the sun. So now we're gonna proceed, but there are vehicles from our left side. And now we have to wait until these are clears, and then what we can do, we're gonna go straight, make a U-turn like that car exactly. We should just go and go behind that and again the car missed it same thing the car missed it and now it is going very fast and now i'm gonna take over because because there is a vehicle coming very fast and uh, the car couldn't do it so what i'm gonna do so before you do that let me just show you imagine this is a car and what it needs to do is a stop on the stop sign and now when there is no car from our left side what we're gonna do we're gonna go straight and make a right turn and wait over here because there could be other cars from the opposite side if there is no other vehicle we could just make this u-turn and that's very simple right guys so that's the thing the car is keep failing so we're gonna try it one more time let's do it
unprotected left number three in New York and again the Sun will be a great problem here because it is directly hitting in the camera so we're gonna find out again very very oh wow this time it handled it probably just few second difference the Sun goes a little down and that's why it could handle it very good job now we have to wait and we're gonna see how the car handled this there are some vehicle okay there are vehicle is still now on the left side this is what I was talking about the car is having a hard time doing this so now it should proceed again this time it is going very good very good you went there oh wow you you came very fast and now you cannot probably make this u-turn this is amazing wow this is amazing the car was confident the first moment it makes that mistake by trying to proceed and it takes over because there are vehicle coming from a left side and this is a very fast road you shouldn't proceed while there is car coming right so the first thing it made a mistake i took over then i engage it one more time and what it did is it immediately proceed a little fast and didn't have to wait because there was no traffic from all opposite side traffic or road and then immediately it makes that u-turn and that u-turn was perfect because i immediately thought it doesn't have that much of space to make that u-turn but it did it perfectly without any problem so i definitely have to give point but the first thing the car definitely makes a mistake so i'll just cut half point guys so let me know in the comment what you think about this video guys also let me know about the update what do you think about this uh, how fsd 12.6 will perform in new york and hopefully you guys will enjoy when i got this in my car and we're gonna definitely test these things again and again with 12.6 so i'm very excited let me know in the comment what do you think about that and also subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching i love you so much and have a wonderful wonderful day